Okay, let's go over the 15 promises of the rosary, or uh, Mary's 15 false promises of the rosary. Um, these 15 promises of the rosary were allegedly given to St. Dominic and blessed uh, and the blessed Alan de la Roche. I hope I'm saying his name right. And the 15 promises of Mary of the, uh, for the, of the rosary should be renamed the 15 false promises of the rosary. What, are we, what we are being told is these 15 promises of the rosary came through a vision of Mary that the Catholic Saint Dominic and Blessed Alan received in the 13th century. Those 15 promises of the rosary are for all who faithfully pray the rosary. And if you are watching this and you're aware of the biblical message even in, even in a superficial way, you'll notice how far from God's truth and reality the fifth, following 15 promises of the rosary are. And once I read the 15 false promises, I will make additional comments afterwards. But all of these promises are dangerously misleading and are not really from God. Do not believe what you are about to hear. Uh, and these 15, or these poisonous 15 promises of the rosary given by Mary, it wasn't really Mary, but it was a devil. Satan and his devils can perform miracles, visions, and dreams. Uh, but they are believed by millions of Catholics. The first is, To all those who shall pray my rosary, devoutly I, Mary, promise my special protection and great graces. Second, Those who shall preserve, persevere in the recitation of my rosary will receive some special grace. Third, The rosary will be a very powerful armor against hell. It'll destroy vice, deliver from sin, and dispel heresy. And that one is funny because this is heresy, what I'm reading to you. Fourth, the rosary will make virtue and good works flourish and will obtain for souls the most abundant divine mercies. It'll draw the hearts of men from the love of the world and its vanities and will lift them up to the desire of eternal things. Oh, that souls will sanctify themselves by this means. 5. Those who trust themselves to me, Mary, through the rosary, will not perish. 6. Whoever recites my rosary devoutly reflecting on the uh, mysteries shall never be overwhelmed by, the, overwhelmed by misfortune. He will not experience the anger of God, nor will he perish by an unprovided death. The sinner will be converted, the just will persevere in grace and merit eternal life. Seventh, those who truly devoted those truly devoted to my rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. Eighth, those who are faithful to recite my rosary shall have during their life and at the end uh, and at their death the light of God and the plenitude of his graces and will share in the merits of the blessed. Nine I, Mary, will deliver promptly from purgatory souls devoted to my rosary. Ten, true children of my rosary will enjoy great glory in heaven. Eleven, what you shall ask in my rosary, you shall obtain. Twelve, to those who propagate my rosary, I, Mary, will aid in all their necessities. Thirteen, I, Mary, have obtained from my son that all the members of the rosary confraternity shall have as their intercessors in life and in death the entire celestial court. Fourteenth, those who recite my rosary faithfully and my, or, or faithfully are my beloved children, the brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. Um, all those fourteen um, promises contrast with the biblical plan of salvation. Um, and Jesus said that uh, vain repetitions are a sin. Um, and basically that praying the rosary is a sin, Matthew 6, 7, and 8. And, it, and do, praying the rosary is not putting into practice the word of God, uh, Luke eight twenty one. But the 15th is, um, 
especially important because it says devotion to my rosary is a special sign of predestination. Um, and uh, Mariolatry is being promoted by the Catholic Church here. Um, the Mary of Catholicism is an idol and a false god. Any visions from the so-called Mary of Catholicism is nothing but a devil spirit. Um, all of these promises, um, especially number five, are mostly related to salvation. The Mary of Catholicism is not the mother of Jesus in the Bible. How could anyone, especially a spiritual leader, endorse those promises and have any idea of the true plan of salvation, since they are so dangerously different? They are as dissimilar as a passenger airplane is to a ground mole. Um, this shows the Catholic hierarchy, as well as the many non-Catholic groups and ministries that are ecumenical and, and involved in false unity are in the same spiritual darkness. This indicts the Promise Keepers, Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, Jack Van Imp, The 700 Club, The Bible Answer Man, Bill Bright, and many others. Many of the same people actually endorsed Pope John Paul II. Anyone who thinks Catholicism is a Christian group is defined by the New Testament is in a thick spiritual fog, especially considering these 15 promises of the Rosary. And going back to the 15th promise of the rosary, um, J John Calvin got this false doctrine of unconditional election or predestination from Catholicism. Um, how many Calvinists, I have to wonder then, no predestination is Catholic doctrine. John Calvin got this doctrine from Augustine, who he thought was a great theologian. Yet Augustine promoted Mary worship and prayed to and trusted in her for salvation. Um, and if you compare uh, this teaching on the rosary and examine it with God's word, it is not biblical. So logically, if the rosary is not biblical, then the 15 rosary promises also had to be false. That alone proves the aforementioned 15 promises of the Rosary are all empty of biblical substance but filled with deadly spiritual poison. Be assured the 15 promises of the Rosary did not originate with God, the God of the Bible, and are all designed by the devil to destroy souls. The real Mary and the real Mother of Jesus of the Bible had nothing to do with these 15 false promises of the Rosary.